Meanwhile, the pretty big boost to the India-Egypt ties. New Delhi has now extended an invite to the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to be the chief guest at the Republic Day celebrations on the 26th of January. Now, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi had last visited India in 2016 on an official visit, and this is the first time that an Egyptian president has been invited as the chief guest to India's Republic Day celebrations. Now, India and Egypt are celebrating 75 years of diplomatic relations. Earlier this year, the Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and also External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar had both visited Cairo and had met with President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. And Jay Shankar had also handed out a personal message from Prime Minister Narendra Modi to him. Now, Egypt has traditionally been one of India's most important trading partners in the African continent. Despite the pandemic, the volume of trade had declined only marginally to about $4.5 billion in 2019-2020. India has also sent a wheat consignment to Egypt earlier this year as the country was facing a food crisis triggered by the Russia-Ukraine war. And also Vyond's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. As India steps up its effort towards the African continent, New Delhi has rolled out the red carpet for Egypt. The Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi has been invited for India's Republic Day parade and we know that uh, there has been increased military and diplomatic engagement between the two sides. The Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh was in Cairo earlier this uh, year and a key military pact uh, was signed between the two countries, uh, especially when it comes to uh, capacity building. But other than that, uh, if you look at the engagement, uh, there has been substantive engagement, uh, whether it is trade or whether it's connectivity. Uh, also uh, remember uh, that uh, amidst uh, the, the Ukraine-Russia conflict, there has been a lot of pressure on global food prices and India sent wheat uh, to Egypt. But nonetheless, if we talk about the significance of this uh, step by the Indian government, uh, this for the first time that Egypt has been invited for India's Republic Day Parade since uh, uh, the first parade happened in 1950. And also, uh, interestingly, uh, when it comes to the Modi government, this is for the second time an African country has been invited for India's Republic Day Parade. We know that already the Modi government uh, in the past invited the South African president. The invitees since 2014 include uh, US, France, UAE, all the ASEAN countries and uh, Brazil as well. There were, of course, uh, focus on inviting the Central Asian countries and UK Prime Minister in the last two years. But because of the COVID pandemic, that could not happen. But this time, of course, focus uh, will be on Egypt and, of course, um, uh, also on uh, the uh, the Republic Day Parade, which, of course, uh, as it happens every year, will happen with uh, all the fanfare as it happens. With video journalist Chandrasekhar Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.